Yesterday he was fighting for Nathaniel Woods to be released to get a stay of execution. Um, he was granted the stay of execution, but it was lifted, and this man was lynched. I'm not gonna even say killed. I'm not gonna say executed. This man was lynched. Okay, this man was lynched. This man was innocent. This man was innocent of the crime that he was accused of. That he got convicted of. The guy that did it even wrote a letter to K. Ivy, racist behind. Telling her that this man had nothing to do with the killing of these three white police officers. And you still executed the man anyway. I am so angry. I am from Alabama. This happened in Birmingham. I'm from Phoenix City, Alabama. I am ashamed to even say I'm from Alabama. This man's life was taken from him. Just like that. Without a care in the world. This man had a family. This man had siblings. I don't know if he had kids or not. But if he did, let's just say he did. These babies are going to grow up without their father. Because some buttholes decided to go on ahead and just get rid of him. Didn't even think to even re-examine the information, the evidence, nothing. Y'all decide to kill this man anyway. I don't get it. You killed this man and he was innocent of a crime he didn't even commit. This is the type of stuff that they do. And nothing is said. Nothing is done. But I'm telling you right now, I am pissed. And I'm going to keep talking about this man until something is done. Some letters need to be written to Kate Ivy. Letting her know she's a killer. Okay. The prosecutors need to get letters letting them know that they are killers. Their hands are not clean. Okay. The DA's office, everybody in that mug that did not do that 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 did not do do di di diligence. Need to be painted with the same brush. You are killers. You have a hand in this man being gone. And there is no there is no justification. There is no explanation. There is no amount of sorrow that y'all would ever be able to give. When you really finally sit down and you look at everything. 
There is nothing that you can tell this man's family. There is nothing that you can say to this man's family. When the evidence... I don't get how y'all killed this man. How y'all lynched this man. How y'all just do not give a damn about this man's life. You were so nonchalant about killing this man. Y'all did not care. Y'all were so quick to get rid of this man. I'm going to go on and say it. You just wanted to get rid of another nigga. And that's what you did. You got rid of another nigga that you didn't have to look at. Another so-called criminal. Another so-called monster. But you killed the wrong man. The man that actually did it is still alive, breathing, eating. He may be in prison, but he's still breathing. But y'all were so quick to kill Nathaniel Woods. The killer wrote a letter. I need for y'all to go to my community tab and look at everything that I posted about Nathaniel Wood. Everything. I need for y'all to go and look. Including the letter that the real killer wrote to Kay Ivy. Kay Ivy, she got issues. This woman is a demon. She's demonic. And she's soulless. She could have stopped this. But no, she did not. She did not care. It did not matter to her that this man was innocent. And it still don't matter to her. It would never matter to her. But all of her contact information will be in the description box of this video like it was in the other one from last night. This is so just heartless. This is just so messed up. I don't understand how this happened. I don't get it. What in the world do we have to do to keep this from happening to somebody else? Let me tell y'all something. Let me... I know what we can do. This is what y'all need to do. Y'all need to vote. Do your research on people who are running for these positions. Do your research, people, before you vote. Okay? Do your research. Who you voting for the, 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 the district attorney's office, the judges, the senators, Congress people, judges, everybody that's that's running for these offices. Make sure you do your job and make sure you do your research and vote for the people that's going to do right. Look at their backgrounds. I mean, dig so deep into their backgrounds. Look for anything that, is, that, that gives you a red flag about these people. Because, <coughs> to be honest with you, Kay Ivey should not be governor of Alabama. She should not be. She don't She don't care about, okay, I'm going to stop saying black and brown because my skin is not black. My skin is brown, okay? She don't care about brown people, okay? She do not care about people of color. You see what she just did? She could have stopped Nathaniel Woods from being killed and she did not. She could have given his defense attorneys time to do more research, to get more evidence, to prove to everybody that this man had nothing to do with anything. This man turned himself in. He surrendered. And 
and you killed him anyway. This man did not commit a crime at all, y'all. He did not commit this crime. And you killed this man. I don't get it. I'm hurt. I'm pissed. And I'm so angry that this man is no longer walking this earth because somebody decided his life was not worth living. I just don't understand it. My heart is broke. My spirit is broke. I just, I, I don't know what to say. I, I, I just don't. I don't get it. I don't understand it. It making no sense to me. If you can explain to me why this man is dead, I'm good. But if you can't, I, explain to me why this man is dead and he was innocent of a crime that he never committed. Okay? Explain to me how this tragic mess happened. Make sure you check out my community tab, like I said. Because I'm not done with this. I'm going to keep talking about this till I'm blue in the face. And for those of you that don't want to keep hearing about this, too bad. Because this is just out of hand. Okay, this is out of hand. But if you made it to the end of my video, give me those big thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell twice to be notified. If you're an old subscriber, make sure your notifications are on. Share my videos. Like I always say, have fun playing with your nails if you wear nails. Or if you're growing your own, have fun playing with your makeup if you wear makeup or you're just learning how to use it. And y'all, please live life because God only gives you one. Bye, y'all.